Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Today we are going to learn physics STPM semester 1. In semester 1, the first topic that we learn are physical quantity and unit. Base quantities and SI unit. A physical quantity is quantity that can be measured. Example, length, mass, time, speed, energy, temperature and current. Physical quantities consist of base quantities and derived quantities. Base quantities is a physical quantity that cannot be defined in terms of other quantities. Derived quantities are defined in terms of base quantities. Dimension of physical quantities a physical quantity can be expressed in dimensional expression. Some quantities do not have units and are thus dimensionless. Dimension of base quantities are given in the table below. Base quantities Mass Dimension is capital M length dimension is capital L time dimension is capital T electric current dimension is I temperature dimension is theta and amount of matter dimension is N The notation of dimension for a physical quantity is expressed as physical quantity in square bracket. Example, the dimension of displacement can we write as S in square bracket equal to L. Dimension of a derived quantity can be obtained from the formula of the physical quantities. Example, dimension of area. Area equal to length times length. So we get dimension of area equal to L square. Dimension of force. Force equal to mass time acceleration equal to mass time change of velocity divided by time. Dimension for mass is m and dimension for change of velocity over time is lt power of negative 1 divided by t. So we get the dimension of force is m l t power of negative 2. Dimension of work. Work equal to force time displacement. Force equal to mass time acceleration and time displacement. Acceleration equal to change of velocity over time. So we can write the dimension. Mass is m. Change of velocity over time is l t power of negative 1 divided by t. And displacement dimension is l. So we can get the dimension of work equal to m l 
power of 2 t power of negative 2 Here is some example of derived quantity and their dimension. We also can get the dimension of derived quantity by comparing its derived unit. Example, uh, force. Unit for force is kg m s power of negative 2. So, we can find the dimension of force by comparing it derived unit by we compare kg kg is for unit for mass so dimension for mass is m m meter is unit for length so dimension is l s second is unit for time so dimension is t so we get the dimension for force m l t power of negative 2 let's look at strain okay strain equal to change in length divided by original length so there are no unit for strain because uh, unit for change in, in length is m and also unit for original length also m so no unit and also no dimension for strain 